Hi there, you're with Craig. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to check your competitors' Google Ads. And this is something that I use a tool for. It's very, very valuable because it helps me a lot with the campaigns that I run for my clients and also for my personal campaigns. And the idea with this is not to do it to try and rip people off or steal their uh, ads and that sort of thing. It's really just to get a feel for how your campaign is running up against theirs. And the things you can pick up that are really valuable are particularly keyword bid prices. That's what I use the most because I know that uh, I try and optimize as best I can. And when I can see another keyword that someone else is doing and they're getting a lot less on the bid price, I can go and look at their page and get a bit of a feel for why it is uh, you know, different to mine. So I'm going to use my favorite tool for this and it's called SE Ranking. There is a link in the description if you want a free trial, you can get it through that particular link. And today what we're going to do is search for a very competitive keyword such as carpet. And I'm just going to grab one at random. So I'm going to take carpetcourt.nz uh, and we come over to our tool. We click on competitive research there and we come down and just click, uh, just enter in your domain name, which is carpetcourt.nz and go analyze. And the tool will go out very quickly and find all the data on that domain name. And I won't run you through all the stuff it can do because it's just can do so much but today we are focusing on paid advertising so we come up here and click on the paid traffic right there and we can see they're bidding on 260 keywords uh, total traffic cost is $1,700 and here are the keywords that they are ranking for there's their positions uh, you can see if it's new obviously just moved into that spot you can see the search volume where their ads are appearing they're always at the top these guys and you can see the actual ad itself so you can flick between the two and sort of get a, get a feel for what sort of ads they're running uh, how they're different etc and you can see their cost per click the percentage of competition and the pages that they're um, the ads are landing on so this is a national campaign so a lot of the traffic is going to the home page and we can get the uh, traffic share and the traffic cost for that particular keyword so they are bidding on their own brand here it looks like and they're paying a reasonable premium for it at 56 cents each so clearly there's other people bidding on their their domain name who would be paying a lot more than 56 cents um, the other thing you can do in here you can look at the ranking changes this is always quite interesting and this shows Keywords that are the same, uh, the ones that are new, the ones that are unchanged, and the ones that are lost. Sorry, the first one was actually um, decreased. So we can come down here and actually see these keywords. So you can look at the ones that have decreased their positions. Uh, you can look at the ones that are new for the campaign and the ones that they've actually lost position for. So very interesting, and we can see a lot of this stuff. These ones uh, that they've lost position for are going through to actual pages like an anniversary sale. So that makes sense why they're not bidding on that anymore. Uh, but some of these here look uh, very like very good keywords. So there's some reason that they're no longer ranking for that particular keyword. We don't know what that is um, because it's obviously to do with their marketing people and what they're actually bidding on. But we can come look at the ad history as well, which is always uh, really interesting. So this starts off. You know, December, January, February, March, April, you can go through and look at the actual ads that they're running. And so you know, there's a spring sale there. Uh, what else have we got you now for laminating, laminate. So you can get a good feel for what sort of ads are running for these particular keywords. And you can see the areas they're sort of focusing on throughout the country and all that good stuff. Then the other one that's really good is the competitors. So we can get a, a list of their main competitors and we can even run a competitor comparison so you can put two competitors in there uh, and get the results for them as well now you'll see on the plan i'm on which is not expensive at all i can do a hundred of these every single day so se ranking is very generous with their um, allowances of what you can and can't do in regards to se ranking uh, pricing and i said it's a lot cheaper than anybody else which it is and to get it even cheaper, if you don't need daily ranking checks, which I definitely don't, you just go to weekly, you'll save a lot of money. So that is something worth considering uh, if you are looking at getting started with SE ranking. As I say, there's a free trial. You can go and give them a go first. But when you sign up, if you don't need the daily stuff, you can save a significant amount of money. Okay, back to the video. 
We can look at the pages that uh, the traffic is going to here and the traffic share so we can see the home page is getting the bulk of it. Uh, they are sort of putting other ads throughout the uh, website but the bulk of it is going to their home page. So I'm thinking the home page would be set up for a national campaign. They've probably done a lot of testing on that. We can look at any subdomains that they're uh, also bidding on. Uh, doesn't seem to be any, anything there. And ranking changes we've done. We've looked at the keywords. So, you know, you can also look at other countries. I had a client last week where we looked at what their competition were doing in Australia, which is a neighboring country. And we learned a lot from that, particularly around how they were sort of targeting customers and what they were looking for. So SE ranking is a great tool for doing this. It's very, very reasonably priced. Uh, and I've got some other videos you may be interested in, and I'll put a link above. So the first one is comparing to uh, Uber Suggest. That should be up there somewhere now. And then the next one will be comparing to Ahrefs, which is obviously the, you know, sort of the master tool that everyone is using, which is also very, very expensive. And I also have a good video on how to find low competition keywords. So I'll put a link to that as well. So yeah, so one thing to keep in mind, guys, when you're doing this sort of work is these tools are just there to guide you and help you and help you make informed decisions. But everything needs testing, particularly in PPC, because each page is different and campaigns are run differently in that. So it's just to give you a bit of an idea. So anyway, I hope that is useful for you. Uh, give SE Ranking a try. I highly recommend on their support is excellent. The tool is excellent. Uh, and it's very, very good value for money. So thanks for watching. I will see you next video. Bye.